Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to derive an expression for the power spectral density of NRZ polar format. We know that in NRZ polar format, symbol 1 is represented by transmitting a pulse of amplitude plus A and duration 1 TB, whereas symbol 0 is represented by transmitting a pulse of amplitude minus A and duration 1 TB. Now, the power spectral density of a discrete PAM signal X of T is given by the equation Sx of F equals 1 by TB magnitude square of V of F summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity Ra of n into exponential of minus J 2 pi n F capital T where TB is the bit duration v of f is the fourier transform of the basic pulse please note we have considered a rectangular pulse for representing symbol 0 as well as symbol 1 here and lastly r a of n is the autocorrelation function of the signal x of t with these things in mind let us now start the derivation for the power spectral density we start by saying suppose the zeros and ones of a random binary sequence occur with equal probability then for the polar format of the NRZ type, we have the probability of amplitude equals to minus A equals to probability of amplitude equals to plus A equal to 1 by 2. Here this part represents symbol 0 and this part represents symbol 1. Now previously we have said we have to compute the autocorrelation function and the autocorrelation function is given by the equation expectation on AK into A of K minus N. Now we know that a k can take only two values that is minus a and plus a and when n is equals to 0 a k into a of k minus n reduces to a k square. So the autocorrelation function for n is equals to 0 is given by expectation on a k square. Now let us substitute the values for this part which is the value of the amplitude square multiplied by the probability of the corresponding amplitude. Now, when a k is equals to minus a, it would be minus a whole square into probability of a k equals to minus a plus when a k equals to a, it will be a square into probability of a k equals to a. Now, we know the probabilities are equal and is equal to 1 by 2. So, let us substitute this part here. So, it will be minus a whole square multiplied by 1 by 2 plus plus a whole square multiplied by 1 by 2 which reduces to a square. So the autocorrelation function when n is equals to 0 is equal to a square. Moving on, now let us consider n not equal to 0. Now when n is not equal to 0, this term, this is the product of a k and a of k minus n can always have only 4 values which are shown as per the table here. Now we have written a k and a of k minus 1 values and finally their products in the third column. This table is simply a two combination table starting with 0 0 and ending with 1 1. So wherever you expect a 0 put a minus a there and wherever you expect 1 you put a plus a there. So 0 0 is written as minus a minus a, 0 1 is written as minus a plus a, 1 0 is written as plus a minus a. And lastly, 1, 1 is plus a plus a. So the product of these terms is minus a multiplied by minus a is plus a square. The second one is minus a square. The third is minus a square again. And lastly, we have a multiplied by a which is equals to a square. Now, assuming once again that these successive symbols in the binary sequence are statistically independent, then the autocorrelation function which is expectation on a k into a of k minus n is now equal to now we note that how many times minus a square appears and how many times plus a square appears by looking into this column we understand a square appears twice and minus a square also appears twice so i'm going to write the right hand side of this equation as 2 into the value which is minus a square multiplied by the probability of occurrence of the corresponding amplitude which is 1 by 4 now since there are four values the probability should be equal to 1 by 4. So it is 2 into minus a square into 1 by 4 plus 
2 into plus a square into 1 by 4. Please note this is minus a square, not minus a whole square. So, this term will become minus a squared by 2 and this term will reduce to plus a squared by 2 and when I add them, the result will be 0. So, comparing equations 2 and 3, we can finally write an expression for the autocorrelation function of nRz polar format as Ra of n equals a square when n equals to 0 and 0 when n not equal to 0. So, we have now found the Ra of n part of the power spectral density. We need to now find the V of f, which is the Fourier transform of the basic pulse V of t. We already have established that it is a rectangular pulse. So, let us now move on with that part now. Right. So, for the basic pulse V of t, we have a rectangular pulse, but this time let us assume the amplitude of the rectangular pulse is 1. So, we say it is an unit amplitude pulse, but the duration is Tb retained as it is. The time domain representation of V of t is shown here. You can see it is a rectangular pulse from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. So, the duration is 1t. Here we have said it is Tb. And since we know the Fourier transform of a rectangular function is sinc function, we get the frequency domain representation as shown in the diagram here. Now, this is given by the expression a t into sine of pi capital T f divided by pi capital T f and since the value of a is assumed to be 1 here, it will be t into this is sine of pi x divided by pi x which is sinc. So, the final value for the Fourier transform of the basic pulse shape is given by v of f equals t b into sinc of f t b. Right. So, with that we have found both the Ra of n as well as the V of f part of the power spectral density equation. So, let us now substitute these values that is equation 4 and equation 5 into the power spectral density equation which I have given once again for the convenience. So, V of f as we know is Tb sinc Ftb. So, it is Tb sinc Ftb whole square 1 by Tb as it is. Then we have summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity, Ra of n which is to be split as Ra of 0 and Ra of n for n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity but not equal to 0. Then we have the exponential part as it is. Coming back to this term, we will note that it will be 1 by Tb into Tb square into sing square Ftb. So, the Tb square in the numerator and Tb in the denominator cancel to produce Tb into sinc square Ftb. Then we have the Ra of 0 plus Ra of n multiplied by exponential part as it is. Now, let us take the exponential part inside. Now, in an interesting note, when n is equals to 0, exponential of 0 will produce 1. So, when I take exponential inside the brackets here, here it will be Ra of 0 multiplied by 1. Then we have plus summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity and not equal to 0. We have Ra of n into exponential of minus j 2 pi n f capital T. Let us now substitute the values for Ra of 0 and Ra of n from our previous equation which is equation 4 here and we note that when n is equals to 0, Ra of n is a square and when is not equal to 0, Ra of n is 0. And when I substitute that, it will be a square for Ra of 0 plus 0 because Ra of n is 0. Therefore, the final expression for the power spectral density of nRz polar format can be given as Sx of f equals A square Tb into sinc square Ftb. Now, we will see the normalized form of equation 7 in the diagram here. Please note, this diagram contains the normalized versions of all the power spectral densities of polar, unipolar, Manchester as well as bipolar. Currently, we are only discussing on polar. So, this is highlighted by the red colored curve. So, you can see this is the curve that represents the normalized version of the power spectral density of the NRZ polar format. Right. That is about the discussion on the power spectral density derivation for NRZ polar format. If you like this video, kindly press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital communication. 
Thank you for watching. Have a good day.